Is this thing on? It's episode one. It's making sure this is all working. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Guys, I'm James from jkelly 3 d CGI Props and Cosplay, and welcome to episode one of the Rebel Base Build. I'm taking my garage and I'm turning it into a completely themed Star Wars location. And I particularly love the whole concept of Greebles or Greeblets. I'm gonna go with Greebles. So this week, we're gonna build the first build. This is gonna be used in my Rebel Base. And it is a Star Wars, wait for it, door control. What's that? You've got no Greebles in your house? You need to look again. Check these out. Baby food pouch toppers. These are the twist caps off the top of baby food pouches. These are epic. Sink strainer or arc reactor housing. Heat sinks from laptops. These are awesome. Don't worry, these were already broken. Got a kid's trampoline? Check out that rubber foot. Boom, stick that on the wall, futuristic droid socket. And if you're feeling really brave, go and trash your old VHS cassette player. Take out that tape head. Right, let's take those Greebles and some HD foam and see if we can build something from a galaxy far, far away. Guys, if you haven't tried HD foam before, you need to check it out. It comes on the roll and it's also available in different thicknesses. It's brilliant for working on models such as this where you want to add some depth. I get all my foam from Tig Supplies, who are also a supporter of my channel. You can check out their link in my description. Once all the greebles are attached nicely to your base, what really brings it together is when you have the first layer of paint on there. I made sure to only give two light coatings of full dip light grey on the prop. I wanted some of that goodness from the black foam to show through because I think it made the overall appearance better. I made sure that I did not glue the metal greebles to the base before spraying. I wanted to paint everything else but leave the metal in its natural form. The copper and the steel need to show through because that brings some authenticity to the finished prop. For weathering, I used the standard black wash process, which is acrylic black paint, slightly watered down and painted onto the prop and then wiped away with a cloth. Make sure when you're painting it that you get the brush into all the crevices, because any black that's left afterwards is what really highlights the depth and all of the details on the prop. Let's bring some context to this build. This is the first build. It's a small little project, something easy to get teeth into. And I've actually started to flesh out virtually what my room is gonna look like. But I do wanna make use of an older project that I worked on. I created or recreated a marketplace from Jeddah from Rogue One. Love that film. It's an Unreal Engine project that plays a little bit like a first person shooter. But I've also created lots of the buildings around the marketplace itself. So. In an imaginary world, my rebel base build would fit inside of one of those buildings so that I can start fleshing out ideas virtually and placing things around the room. One thing I love about the Star Wars trilogies, and it doesn't matter what trilogy you're watching, they have the unmistakable Star Wars design. You can see this in the ships, the architecture, but most importantly in the colours. I really enjoy the red motif that you see in quite a lot of the vehicles, mechanics and spaceships and it's definitely something that the Rebel Alliance use quite a bit on their tech. So no Rebel base build would be complete without that signature red strip painted onto the prop. I masked off the stripe using masking tape and then went full on with the red acrylic paint.
This is an amazing tip I picked up from Brian over at the Smugglers Room. If you haven't checked their YouTube channel now, you definitely should spend some time on there. You can use a silver sharpie to add those silver worn details to the edge of any colour on your prop. I went ahead and added an LED light to this door control. Um, LED lights are a real good way of bringing life to any prop. I simply drilled a hole through the foam and pushed an LED, um, an orange LED that I purchased online. I hooked that up to a nine volt battery. For now, this of course will be plumbed into the wiring in the rest of my build. But for now, it kind of gives it a little bit more detail. And although this isn't a hugely complex build, it certainly does feel like something from the Galaxy far far away i really enjoyed making this video and i hope you enjoyed watching it so please guys subscribe and hit that bell i'll see you next time when we create something from a galaxy far far away